Hello, 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 everybody, and welcome to another tune kind, well, real kind, at 12 FPS. This is titled Stealing Nightmares, and uh, with me is the very lovely and wonderful... Afi! Hi, and I will be playing, uh, you know him, you love him, Trickster of the Spirit Rogues. We love him very, 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 very much. And Trickster, what are what are you up to tonight? Well, uh, uh, I think I think what we did, uh, what's going on right now, um, is um, Trickster is doing what he does best, which is changing some hearts. He's probably gotten some some smaller missions to to take care of, so he is currently, um. Uh, in the plane of dreams. Mm -hmm. And do me a favor and roll me perception. Don't mind if I do. Where's your perception mod? Okay, there it is. <laughs> it's not bullshit like another character I know. Okay. Not bad, boy. 21. Okay, that's great, but I am so sorry, Trickster. That was a 27. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, no, even if I even I, if I hit a nat 20, I would not have been able to. <laughs> yeah, no, I am I am I am very <laughs> sorry, Trickster. Um, you're you're vibing in the plane of dreams, uh, and it's an interesting thing because uh, back home it was kind of spooky looking. Mm -hmm. Here in this section of the Plane of Dreams, it's a lot less spooky. It's, uh, it honestly kind of just looks like Toontown, almost. Uh, with, like, some kind of purplish uh, blue distortion going on. Kind of like an overlay effect. Mm -hmm. So it's very clearly nighttime. And, like, there's a kind of like a paper cut, uh, crescent moon hanging in the sky. Like, basically almost like a kid's dream almost in this section of the plane of dreams that you're vibing in and uh there's a few apartments that have the fire escape balconies and with your role of 21 I, I am going to say you don't jump out of your skin when this happens but all of a sudden in front of you is a very cheerfully smiling girl with, uh, let me just really quickly grab her reference for folks. Uh, she has, uh, orange hair, long orange hair pulled back in a ponytail, and she is wearing a red mask that's kind of pointy at the edges. It looks kind of more like a, you would see at an opera house than, like, a robber or anything. <laughs> But <laughs> she is uh, wearing also a, a kind of long sleeve, very frilly uh, uh, blue shirt with kind of like a red corset, kind of keeping it tucked together with uh, gold gloves and uh, gold uh, boots kind of tucked in underneath uh, some uh, red pants. And let me just really quickly save this and then send it to the roll zone for folks to perceive. Do, 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 do. I described that all by memory, by the way. Ooh. Ooh, not bad. <laughs> but yeah. Also, I'm Yeah! So you get this very, very happily grinning uh, face basically nose to nose in front of you. And she's like, hi! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I thought you saw me. Uh, are you... What are you up to? Are you here to steal nightmares too? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> God. I was expecting this, and yet at the same time, it's still hilarious. Um, 
I also uh, wanted to pull up Trick's reference, so here it is. And, and uh, Trickster kind of like, uh, he did jump like a little bit, but like, because <laughs> he wasn't expecting it. Uh, but he takes a moment to look this person up and down, and they're wearing a mask and. Hold on. Sorry. Did you say stealing nightmares? Mm hmm. This is the plane of dreams, so I don't really know why you'd be here otherwise, unless you're one of those bad people that Pilot talk about. Bad people? Mm hmm. The ones who put the nightmares in people. They're the bad people. Oh, you mean like Corey? Yeah, yeah, the bad ones. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, you you might have me confused for something else. I'm... I'm here to steal hearts. <laughs> you can steal hearts, too? Like, like, not just night- <sighs> Huh. What does that do? <laughs> well, uh... <laughs> Uh, he, he kind of grins. He gives you, like, this very mischievous grin. And, uh, he, he puts his hands on his hips, and he looks this, uh, uh, looks this girl up and down. Um, she's still hanging upside down, by the way. She's hanging <laughs> off the balcony. <laughs> yeah. And I think, I think it's, I think he's just, I think he's just still here like that. Like, yeah, this is, this is. This is happening. <laughs> uh, uh, trickster, trickster, uh, looks looks at her and as she goes, if I uh, he goes, uh, uh, stealing a heart does. Will you tell me what stealing nightmares does? Well, when 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 the bad people put the nightmares in people, they can't wake up, and then then they're stuck having nightmares for like ever. So, I heard that, uh, Junie down the street was having some nightmares and wasn't able to wake up, and the doctors had no idea what to do with it, so I knew that Pila's people were, well, not Pila's people exactly, but the people that Pila was from originally, uh, they, 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 they must have targeted Junie, so I gotta, I gotta, I gotta steal the nightmare and go, poof, make it go bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then, and then it'll turn into a normal dream, and Junie can wake up. All right, that that tracks. Well, uh, I'm trying to decide if I want to do something here. <laughs> Give me uh -huh. a sec. <laughs> and uh, once again, he looks this uh this. This girl, can you tell how old she is? Uh, roll me, like, just a real quick investigation. Alright, investigation is not your strong suit, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, for the readers, uh, well, not the readers, for the listeners here, that was, that was, that was a four. <laughs> The DC was a five. Well, I might have someone else who can be a better, <laughs> be a better judge, but uh, he'll come later. Um, yeah, yeah. So, um, with with that, uh, with that four, you look at this girl who is still just vibing upside down. She is not bothered in the slightest by the fact that the blood is probably rushing to her head. Um, uh, the mask kind of, like, the fact that she's upside down and the mask really yeah. kind of just throw you off. From her actions, you kind of can, maybe, you're, you're a little reminded of uh, your sister, but it, other than that, like, that could, adults can act like that like yeah you 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 can't really actually pin down an age 
and and uh, after being here in Toon Toontown and Eichel in general for for so long, he <laughs> he's probably not the best judge of age, uh, especially at strangers. Uh, so I I think he just kind of like nods and um, and he goes, well. Um, <laughs> Well, stealing a heart is, well, you know when people get, uh, get really, really bad, they do a lot of bad things, and they get really, you know, distorted? Ooh, so like, when bullies become really big bullies, and they can't, can't, um, they're they're harder to deal with. Yeah. They, what I do is I steal the heart of their distortions. So like you and, go in and like get the source? Yeah. Huh. <laughs> What's it do to that like does it does it make them be better? In a way, yeah. It makes them feel regret. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, that's good. Yeah. Sometimes they'll even admit that what they did was wrong. And that's what I'm really after. Ooh. Mm. So, like, you're, you're, you're like a vigilante. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think he, that laugh was actually in character. He 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 smiles like uh like yeah he knows he's cool. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just gonna roll acrobatics to see just how well this girl gets off from the uh, from the balcony at this point because she's she's decided that uh, trickster is cool, and that was a five plus ten, so that is a fifteen. She does a little whoop flip and manages to land on her feet. Uh, I think Tri uh, I think Trickster does like a little applause. <laughs> she kind of like does a little bow and like she's grinning. <laughs> Sick flips. Yeah, yeah, they're really fun. Do Do you want to meet the 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 I can't talk. Uh do 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 you want me to help? Uh, I mean, I don't know. I'm waiting on my uh, my partner to show up. Oh, you got a partner? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I do. Yeah, he, he does. Uh, <laughs> uh, there is a, a sharp voice that interrupts uh, Trickster, and um, standing a little off to the side is a... Uh, well, I'm not sure what he is. He looks like he could be a toon, but he's lacking that same kind of outline that most toons have. Mm -hmm. um, but this is a, a bipedal creature with a very, very round head. Um, and he looks like he could be a cat of some kind <laughs> um he's got a uh, two uh he's got a belt with like pouches at his side and uh he's wearing a bright yellow ben and a uh, uh, snake and over his face is a mask uh and this this little uh creature uh, is probably no taller than three feet. Um, and he comes, uh, he comes to meet with the two of you, and, uh, he stands there, and, um, and, uh, uh puts his, uh, paws on his hips, and he looks at Trickster, Sorry, the baby just distracted me. <laughs> You're fine. 
the baby just goes clack 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 with his toys um and uh looks uh over to trickster and he then he turns to look at new girl and he goes all right who are you hi i'm theha uh and um you both immediately realize that that's a word in quarry that means trouble. <laughs> and I think Trickster <laughs> blinks and raises a brow and he's like, is that your code name? Uh, well, I don't really know my actual name, so Pila calls me uh, Seha Karas. Which means trouble child. Trouble child! <laughs> I think... I think Trickster snorts. <laughs> but and, uh, it's mine! So I'm gonna use it! <laughs> yeah, no, there is... Nice about being given a name. You can call me Trickster. And this... And he gestures with his thumb towards the towards his partner. This is Genie. Nice to meet you both. Nice to meet you, Trick, and nice to meet you too, Genie. And uh Genie, if you want, you can roll uh investigation but with advantage. <laughs> oh. I... <laughs> what is what is your investigation? Alright, yeah, that's what I thought. Alright, that's... You said advantage? Yep. Alright. <laughs> Alright, both of those rolls would have beat it, but with a 15, you immediately clock on that this is like a 14, 15 year old. Oh! She little! <laughs> <laughs> she baby! <laughs> Man. I feel I feel like there's a moment where uh GD looks like he's about to say something and then he decides not to <laughs> because uh fun fact Trickster started doing this when he was 16 <laughs> No, 15 16. There you go. He was 15 when he started. Mm -hmm. Uh so he kind of he kind of just Again, looks this th looks this girl up and down, and he goes, "All right, so you're just here to what was it? What was it you said? Steal nightmares?" Mm-hmm. The bad guys have put Junie to sleep, and they they she's stuck in nightmares. So I gotta help her. Yeah, we can't leave her alone, Jeannie. It's like. Rana, we already have a mission to go on. Jeannie, we're not leaving this kid alone. <laughs> well, I've been doing this alone for a while, but um, backup wouldn't be nice. I mean, it would be nice, not that it wouldn't be nice. Yeah, there you go. All right. Uh, okay. Do you know where Judy is? Mm-hmm. And uh, she start uh, she starts uh, scrambling up the uh, uh, the about the fire escapes again, and I'm just gonna roll acrobatics just to see how fancily she does so. And that was... oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was a 19 plus 10. Oh goodness. Okay, give me like one second. Or I was gonna uh, follow after you. Where is your... Okay. Guess who else rolled a 19? <laughs> uh, and let me look at... Cheaty. Okay. 
not quite as acrobatic as the others. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, like, you both, uh, all three of you managed to do some, like, pretty cool sick flips up the balconies and up to the rooftops and uh, they have points in a direction towards uh, some of the other uh, slightly higher uh, apartments and she's like she's stuck in there it's like kind of a spooky forest once you get inside her room it's like really spooky <laughs> Well, I've dealt with Spooky before, and, um, uh, Trickster kinda, uh, looks between the two of them, and, um, I think he's just gonna take the charge. Mm hmm Like, look around to see if, like, anything or anyone is there. Mm hmm Uh, in that case, uh, either rolling perception or investigation, since you're actively looking around. Yeah. Uh, his perception is better. Alright. 16. Okay, with a 16, you're immediately able to clock on to which uh, room is Junie's by the fact that uh, where uh, Theha had pointed in the direction of, there is only one room light that is on. And you don't really see anyone around besides the three of you. Uh, you kind of suspect that if something were to poke up uh, in the dreamscape, the dream uh, plane, it to like put up a fight, it would most likely be in where the dream is, the nightmare is actually located. All right. All right, Jeannie, uh, be ready for anything. Come on. Let's and... go! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I'm not going to make you roll to, like, get to the room or anything. <laughs> yeah. like, we, we rolled really well, I say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, like, we're already, like, what, halfway through, basically, yeah. our time yeah. slot. Um, so, uh... You manage to make it into what is Junie's room, and like Theha said, uh, it's a dark forest, but what Theha did not mention was the fact that it is a snowy forest as well. And you would think that this would help with the visibility, but it's not as visible as you would expect there's no moon hanging out in the sky so the so the snow is actually quite dark there's no reflection and the trees they are casting these dark shadows on uh the the area itself and if you want you can roll me perception all right here we go Oh my god! <laughs> That's <Okay>. an 11. <laughs> Just really quickly, rolling some things. Oh, should I roll for Genie? <laughs> uh, yeah, also roll for Genie if you would like for him to see yeah. things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoop, come back, dice! Oh! <laughs> Oh god, I forgot you got amazing stats, because I rolled so high when I made your sheet. <laughs> okay, Jeannie got a 24. Okay, so, you... As you guys are walking through this snow, you, Arata, you don't see anything past just the flakes that are kind of falling in your face, and it, oh, it's cold, and Theha is, but Theha and, uh, Theha and, um, Gini, you both immediately clock on to the fact that there are some 
very distinctly canine eyes staring at you from the shadows. And then you hear the pad of footsteps and then they're gone. Probably. I think we've been spotted. And as soon as you say that, there is a ominous howl of a wolf. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. <laughs> uh, I think uh, in that case, Trickster is not going to waste time. He is going to uh, head on forward as much as he can before anybody or anything can catch them. <laughs> mm -hmm. And um, I want you to uh, just roll me a dexterity. Just straight dex? Yeah, just straight dex. I want to see how well you've managed to navigate through uh, the snow. And also Feha as well. Oh, wow. Okay. And feel free to also roll for Jeannie. Okay. Oh, Jeannie. Yeah, that makes sense. You're tiny. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, with 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 that with that eight uh oh genie, poor poor genie, uh you basically have to uh the the snow basically reaches your waist. <laughs> I I think <laughs> I think what happens is uh trickster like starts moving, comes back to genie and just picks him up under his arm. Mm hmm Yeah, and I'm just gonna roll. Okay. Uh, with Theha's direction, you manage to get pretty well into, uh, into, uh, the depths of this forest. Uh, but as you guys get closer to where you assume the heart of this nightmare is, the darker and darker it gets. And I want you to roll me perception one more time. All right, come on, boys. Okay, that's not too bad, Arata. Or, or sorry. Also not great. Alright. Trickster got a 17. Genevieve got uh, a 12. Okay. Well, Trickster, you immediately clock on to the fact that there are two very big wolves standing in front of you. Uh, f like blocking off this huge giant tree that somehow still manages to have its leaves on and it's actually a sakura tree blooming with sakura flowers in the middle of winter huh and well dreams never had to make sense so he's just sitting here <laughs> <laughs> yeah and so it it's uh they're both very obviously standing guard uh, but, uh, but Jeannie, you, you only see the one wolf, uh, but Theha sees both of them and goes, oh, Peck. I don't think that they're gonna let us go past without a fight. Alright, uh, then I guess we're gonna have to fight. Yeah, please roll the initiative! <laughs> Yeah! Here we go! <laughs> oh, trick. <laughs> I can type. Alright, so that was trick. And that's Genie.
Okay, that's Theha, and then I have to roll for these two darn wolves. Wolf, 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 wolf. <laughs> what is there? It doesn't say what their initiatives are. Okay, so we're just gonna do a straight d20 for both of them. Oh, that was a nat 20. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> that was a nat 20 for the winter wolf and then uh hat a four for the guardian wolf <laughs> all right <laughs> okay so let me just really quickly look uh, the five was trickster correct yes okay so that is yeah. Okay, there we go, and I'm just going to really quickly pin that, since I have pinning powers, and yeah, so, uh, Theha draws, uh, a bl uh, an interesting blade, it's, uh, got, um, kind of a, almost, a parallelescent sheen to it, um, but yeah, it's uh, it, it kind of looks like a, a rapier. So that's just a Ooh. d20 plus uh, 7 to hit. That was 10. Uh, that does not hit either of them. She very, very much whiffs Oof. the hit. <laughs> and, uh, she was going to try and go for the winter wolf, but the let's see well, oof, how the winter wolf does, because uh, she got cl she got uh, close enough to uh, for it to bite, considering she had to get close to swing her blade, <laughs> and that was uh, eighteen plus six. Which definitely beats her <laughs> AC. Oof. Uh, so let's let's roll out the damage. Ouch. <laughs> uh, okay, two D six plus four. That that was not the that was not the right way to roll out. The dice. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, hang on. Yeah, no. <laughs> that was a lot of damage. Yeah, no. That was that was the mirror making a mistake. Ah, I did it again, Mother Pecker. <laughs> I, I should not be trusted with dice parser today. Today, apparently, <sighs> that or my keyboard. I blame my keyboard. That's you. Okay, that's eleven points of damage. Youch. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but that is uh, Genie's turn next. Uh, they're both straight ahead of you. Uh, easily within uh, your range of motion. Alright, I think what he's going to do is he's going to grab his scimitar and he is going to go for that uh, winter wolf, the one that just attacked it, uh, Deha. Mm -hmm. Alright, that's Oh, Discord, please. 13? Okay, let me see. It does hit. Roll me damage. Alright, All right, cool. Uh, how much damage does... You can tell I don't use a scimitar that often. And I... Is this the... Yeah. This, okay. 10 damage. Okay, awesome. 10 damage to the Winter Wolf. Okay, let me just really quickly write down the the hit points on this thing so I can actually keep track of it better. Okay. Da -da -da. You're so valid. <laughs> uh, this is 
combat. Woo! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, and Trickster, you're up. All right. Uh, uh, while those two are handling the Winter Wolf, I think he's going to go for the Guardian uh, with his right. Without her, the babe. With his rapier. <laughs> mm-hmm. Ooh! Wow! Okay. My 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 boy my boy. Uh. Uh, you do not have to go this hard. Uh, but that's twenty one. <laughs> oh yeah, that definitely hits. Roll me damage. All right. I think yeah, this is a rapier, so that would be d eight. So eight damage. Okay, eight damage to the guardian. Okay, back to the round of the order is the wait, no, actually, the guardian wolf still has to go. <laughs> Me getting too excited. <laughs> okay. Uh, considering the fact that that was a stabby stab, ouch, uh, the Guardian yeah. is going to go for you, Trickster. That's gonna Here we go! Be a, oh. uh, plus eight. If I can type. Goodness. Okay. <laughs> <Why>? <laughs> No, it doesn't hit. It no. just hit. No, it just kind of snaps at the air, threateningly in your face. I think Arata, I think Trickster sticks out his tongue at it. You get a very irritated huff. <laughs> okay, back. <laughs> now it's back to Thea. Okay. Oh man. <laughs> Alright, she's gonna go for her rapier hit again. That was a... Look back at the class. Okay, yeah, that is... 14 plus... What is your... Aha! If I can see my keyboard while typing... <laughs> I have to uh, use a... a USB plugged keyboard since my laptop oh, yeah. keyboard doesn't work anymore. <laughs> yeah, no, I get that. So I'm juggling a lot of things, but a 21 does definitely hit. So let's roll some damage, which is yeah. D. Okay, yeah, a D. Eight plus four, which is seven. And the 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 winter wolf is very very irritated <laughs> by this very annoying uh, little girl. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that was sixty five minus seven, so that's fifty eight. Sorry, just really quickly doing math so we no, can you're keep valid. track. Okay. Oh, hey, they're both at the same HP right now. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> that's funny. Um, anyways, uh, there, the, the angry, the angry, uh, the angry, uh, winter wolf is going to rear back from that stabby stab, and uh, everybody make a deck save. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, oh boy. <laughs> What is your deck save? That was a plus. What's your deck save? mine. Okay. So, Arata got a 17. Oh, Genie! Oh, no. <laughs> oh, Genie! <laughs> Oh, Genie, no! Uh, for listeners, that was a six. <laughs> but Trickster and Theha managed to dodge out of the way as the Winter Wolf blows a very, very, very cold breath of air in a 15-foot cone. 
And, uh, okay, let's roll the dice. Let's see how bad this is. Genie, I'm so sorry. It's cool. <laughs> Quite literally, it's cool. But also... Woo! <laughs> Oof. Yowch! <laughs> Uh, let me- let me do some- some math. I am so sorry, <laughs> Genie! Everything's fine! <laughs> How is Genie faring? Genie's technically... above bloodied, but that was still... one point of damage. Yeah. Ow! <laughs> yeah, ouch. The winter wolf does not take it, it it's pissed. <laughs> I mean understandable. Um Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, GD. It's cool. <laughs> Everything's fine, don't worry about it. Look, I love Genie. This hurts me more than them. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, it's his turn, right? Yep, it's his turn. All right, cool. I forgot you pinned it. <laughs> <laughs> and I also wrote it down in my notebook too, so I could All glance right. at it easier. <laughs> yeah, where, where? Uh, what are you gonna do? Yeah, I think you're gonna. Hang on, I need to double check how it works. Yeah, he is going to, um, he's going to cast, uh, first level cure wounds on himself, cause, yowch! Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is the wrong command. We are not in bad. Bash! <laughs> what is he modifying? Yeah, of course it is. So he gets, oh, full uh, full HP from that. Yay! Thank he you, gets, Lalu. Uh, yes. Uh, I, this is my first time playing a druid. I don't think he can do anything else here. Okay, I haven't played a druid yeah. either, so I'm I'm not <laughs> able to advise. Yeah. So I think that's okay. Okay. Uh, and then it's Trickster, right? Yep, it's Trickster. <laughs> yes, it is. Alright, and he is going to go again at, uh, Guardian Wolf. Uh. Wow! Okay, Trick. <laughs> that's, that's a 23. Ooh, that definitely hits. Roll me some damage. Oh, that's oh, minimum, four. minimum damage possible. <laughs> Uh, but Yikes. still got hit. Okay, yeah. so that is a 15. Da 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 da. I can math. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, like I was just like, dot dot dot. How do you do math for a second? Oh, mood. <laughs> D, &D D is just a way to trick gay people into doing math. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay, and the guardian is very irritated at you, trickster, so it is going to try and attack again. And that was a... Okay, 15... Eight. And it's just gonna try and bite you again. Yeah, that, that, that'll, that'll do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That- that'll do! <laughs> Alright, uh, that is a d10 plus six... nine! At least it's not 21! <laughs> yeah! No! <laughs> okay, how- how... do I do math again? Okay. Oh, I know. Alright, there we go. We're good! The problem with being a DM who absolutely adores the characters is you feel absolutely rotten whenever the PCs get hit. <laughs> oh, mood. No, I... I feel that. 
Okay, back to the round for top of the order. It's Deha again. Okay, that they are my beloved. <laughs> Nineteen plus what? Oh yeah, it's plus seven. Plus seven to the guardian wolf, and it definitely hit. Well, not the guardian wolf. Uh, I meant to say the winter wolf, wolf because she's dealing with this bastard. <laughs> So yeah, yeah, that definitely hits. That would have definitely hit both of them uh, with her rapier, which is a d8 plus 4. d8 plus 4. Which is a 6 points of damage. Yeah! Okay. Alright, and the winter wolf is just angry, So it's just gonna keep trying to get Theha because it keeps stabbing her. Like, it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the wolf keeps getting stabbed. And it's not having a fun time. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> but yeah, it can't do the cold breath anymore since that was a, an act that like has a recharge on there. So yeah, it can only it can only try to bite her, which is a twelve plus six, which is an eighteen. That definitely beats her armor class. Oof, big oof. Oof. Okay, two d six plus four. Twelve points of damage. How is she? Uh, she's uh, not doing the best, <laughs> but like she's uh, she's uh, she's about almost bloodied. She might back off for a bit and try uh, some of her magic, magic, mac, magic, mat, her spells. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm asking this because uh, uh, Genie does have healing magic, so. Mm -hmm. If needed, if needed. Uh, yeah. Well, she 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 might she uh, considering that she's I, yeah she's definitely bloodied now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so she's definitely looking worse for wear. <laughs> yeah. So I think what she uh, what Genie's gonna do he's going to cast bones on her and not was yeah. Again, you get uh, oh. the full roll back from that. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. She goes like, what's great is that like totally negated uh, the damage she just barely took. Yeah. So she's gonna offer you a really grateful smile and then kind of just hop back and uh, disengage. <laughs> yeah. And that will end her turn. And I'm just gonna really quickly. Uh, well, to see how she successfully uh, manages to hide from uh, the the wolves' sight or not, and that was two plus ten. Well, two plus ten. That's a twelve. Uh, let me just really quickly check the winter wolves. Uh, I'm just gonna say that oh, the perception there is uh, yeah considering the fact that their base with a 14 plus a 5 yeah no they definitely track where she's going so she can't get an opportunity of sneak attack later on that's too bad yeah but she's definitely out of biting range now <laughs> alright that's, that's good don't you dare disengage on Genie, cause <laughs> he'll get ya. Uh, is it Trix? Yep, it's turn? Trickster's turn next. All right, here we go. One more slashy slash at this. Uh, uh, at this guardian wolf. My God, how do you keep getting good rolls on this fight? Ooh, uh, yeah, 22. that definitely hits. All right, <laughs> Trickster bringing in the action. <laughs> okay, 
And that's nine. All right. Do, 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 do. Be doing math. <laughs> okay, and then it is the guardian's turn. Uh, let's see. It definitely growls at you, trickster. It's pissed off. Uh, do, 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 do. That was a. So it kind of just tries to reach and slash at you because it, it did not like the fact that you heard it. <laughs> that was a 13 plus, uh, where is the, oh, there it is. Oof. Yeah, that's gonna do it. <laughs> yep, okay. Let's see. 2d8 and damage plus 6. 11. <laughs> not as bad as it could have been. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> okay. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but if you want, at this point in time, uh, I will kind of bend the rules a little bit and say if you want to roll perception, you can. Alright. Like for both Genie and Trickster. Alright, I think I'll do that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Alright, that's trick. And. Okay! And the 25 for, for Genie, goddamn. Dang! Okay, and. Uh, Theha got. What is your perception? Okay, it's plus 3. Do, 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 just really quick. Da, da. Mother pecker. <laughs> I can type, I swear. Plus 30 is, <laughs> 20 yeah, 22. <laughs> uh, <Face. laughs> all three of you noticed, though, that the wolves had been looking really scary and ominous, but as you guys have like whittled it away, um, their health away, they're getting smaller and smaller, and now they're almost the size of normal wolves. And the space around you is starting to look a little less shadowy, maybe. Hmm. You get the sense that maybe one more round and these wolves might be too small to actually give up a proper fight. Oh boy! Fun, 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 fun. Uh, I think. I think it's yeah. Thea's turn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so just one more round, and then you guys are out of combat, hopefully. <laughs> That was the four plus seven. That does not hit. Uh, wait, I just remembered. She's not close enough for the rapier. Disregard that. <laughs> this is what happens when, like, you don't actually have an actual explicit map laid out. <laughs> yeah. No, I get you. Because like, this is a last minute. Oh, I should probably include this, considering what's going on in the with uh, that. But. She can just roll d20. Okay, let's see what her ray of frost manages to hit with the uh, with the winter wolf. <laughs> that's a plus six plus the six plus six. That's a twelve. <laughs> that's a twelve. That does not hit. It just goes pew, poof. And bursts into uh, snow against the Sakura tree trunk. Oh boy. <laughs> and the wolf kind of just derisively huffs at her. But since Genie, you're right next to it still, it's gonna try and uh, do a chomp at you. Oh boy. Uh, that was a six plus. Six, which is a twelve. 
Uh, does not hit. It, like, man, it, it over re- It expects someone of Theha's height, and it, like, snaps over your ears. It uh, I, think his, <laughs> I think his ears twitch in annoyance. <laughs> <laughs> Just flick, flick. <laughs> But yeah, Genie, it's your turn. <laughs> Alright, uh, come over here, Wolf. I'm gonna stab you with my scimitar again. <laughs> Oof. Oh, I have to make sure. Okay. Six plus. That's a 14. Yep, that definitely hits. Alright. Eight damage. All right, eight damage. That is. Do, 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 do. Doing math, don't mind me. Okay. All right. Now it's Trick's turn. All right. Come over here, Guardian Wolf. I am just going to stab you a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's finally a low roll from from Trickster. <laughs> and it's a fourteen. Yep, and it just barely hits. All right, nine damage again. <laughs> Woo! Okay, uh, Trick, you see, uh, af right after you manage to like do a stabby stab, uh, there's like an interesting uh, poof of purple-blue string-like magic. You can definitely taste the magic in this as uh, out of this cloud of stringy, gooey magic comes a very small little dog that barks at you and kind of nibbles on your uh, on your pants sleeve and then runs off into the snow and disappears. Uh huh. <laughs> well, I think that did it. <laughs> and seeing its companion, uh, the winter wolf kind of whines a little. <laughs> but... I think Trickster turns to face it like, you want to go too? <laughs> And with, like, a tail kind of underneath its belt, like, kind of tucked underneath it, uh, the winter wolf kind of lowers its ears and, like, paws at the snow, like, can can I be small too? And I'm just gonna roll to see how well Theha's aim is, because it's her turn technically in the initiative. <laughs> and, uh, that was a... 22... It was a, which definitely hits, and uh, with a cloud of uh, snowy magic and that icky kind of uh, sticky, stringy blue purple magic. Uh, there's another smaller dog that's white, and it scurries off after uh, its little fellow companion. And the woods are a lot lighter now, and. Uh, as you look around, you look up into the branches of this now unguarded tree and realize that this is the heart of the dream. And up high in the branches is this undulating mass of magic and what, Trickster, you recognize to be the heart of something. But it's wrong. It's entangled with this gross, sticky magic that you can taste, practically. Worry. That is some nasty work. Alright. Yeah, the bad guys are not nice. Well, if they weren't nice, we'd be calling them nice guys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, uh, we're out of initiative, by the way, and, uh, with, uh, eight plus ten, uh, you quickly see, uh, Feha scurry up the 
trunk of the tree to get a closer look at uh, the heart of the stream. <laughs> I think Trixer's gonna follow up after her. <laughs> um, here we go. Yeah, that's... that's... that's not great, buddy! <laughs> Yeah, well, it's, it's a 13. You you definitely don't do something really fancy with it. You probably manage to do a sick hop and jump, but like nothing super, super ostentatious. <laughs> um, but uh, you do manage to get up there, no problem. Because uh, it wasn't under a <laughs> 10, it was just a 13. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think he's just also trying to get like a look at this because he's never really seen anything like this before, mm -hmm. and he's just like, okay. Uh, so what do we do exactly? Uh, if you want, roll me Arcana. Well, your Arcana's not great, buddy. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. The genie has the better Arcana. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> All right, with 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 a with a with a four, um, buddy. All you get is this really awful aftertaste of this magic, as it kind of just like has like this energy field almost around it, kind of almost like static electricity, of mm -hmm. magic and gross magic. Uh, <laughs> Whatever, right? like whatever thing you absolutely hate to taste, it's it tastes like that, but worse. Yeah. Bad mouth feel. Yeah, bad, 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 bad mouth feel. Uh, but trickster, you definitely you see a uh, Theha reach into a pocket and pull out uh some gilded scissors. Uh, you don't know what the scissors are for exactly, but oh, I'm just gonna roll a six real quick uh, just to see how well she's able to snip these mother peckers with a 15 plus what is your dex modifier again honey okay that's a plus four perfect uh, she is able to very quick swiftly and uh, you definitely get the sense that she's done this a bunch of times with that 19 and she snip 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 all of the gross, gooey strings that are stuck to this, uh, to this heart of a dream. And with her gloved fingers, she stuck sticks uh, one hand against the undulating mass of dream and desire and hope and pries it away from this yucky you yuck yuck yuckiness of magic that you don't really know who placed here besides evil quarry and with a 17 she definitely manages to pry it loose and she's got this really gross uh magic in her hands and she kind of just has this really displeased look on her face as she stares at this pulsating magic in her hands do you want to blow it up? And she yeah. holds it out to you, <laughs> Trickster. <laughs> I think he's gonna take it. I mean, he's got, he's got, what does he have? He has, uh, he has a gun. <laughs> um, but he does have cantrip firebolt. Mm -hmm. So he, he can probably do something with it. Yeah, like, you, uh, it's, a basically inner packet of magic at this point. You don't have to roll anything to hit it. You can just say you activate the cantrip and it poof. Yep. <laughs> 2d10 damage, baby! <laughs> yep, it goes up in flames and as the last embers of this gross, sticky magic leaves the atmosphere, uh, you blink and realize that clouds have been 
obscuring any sunlight, um, not sunlight, uh, moonlight or stars, and the overcast, very dim, dark night is dissipating, and it's actually kind of peaceful now. It's a peaceful dream of some woods with gentle snow falling with a full moon overhead and suddenly it's full of light because snow reflects light like a mother pecker. <laughs> oh, absolutely. And suddenly what was so terrifying and scary isn't scary anymore. I think Trickster uh, takes a deep breath and uh, lets it out as a sigh. And uh, I think Genie, Genie also goes, Alright, I guess that did it. Huh. You guys were great! <laughs> and Theha, like, pulls, like, b- puts both hands up in the air, because she's just like, oh, that could have gone so badly if I was by myself. Yeah, I, I think, I think, uh, Trickster, high five, sorry, I'm gonna do, like, a quick little dex thing to see if, <laughs> <laughs> if Genie can even reach you. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. 14, like, if I can type. Yeah, oh, he, yeah, he no, definitely <laughs> does leap several feet into the air to high five you. <laughs> and I, I feel like I'm gonna roll a d20 just to see how well she can maybe try and catch you so you don't plummet down from the tree. And that was a seven points. <laughs> I'm gonna say that was like a deck save, so that's a 14. Uh, do, do, do you think she catches him? I'm gonna say yeah, because this is FPS, and yeah. also they already took enough damage as <laughs> is. Definitely. So yeah, she like kind of swings you up into the branches of the tree, kind of next to this very nice, warm, glowy uh, heart of a dream that like gives you like the sense now of sitting around a campfire drinking hot chocolate while there's snow outside kind of vibes. Trickster Trickster smiles. And, uh, he goes, alright, we probably should stick around. Uh, don't want to attract too much attention. After that fight, I don't think the core are gonna like us that much. <laughs> no, they don't, they don't really like, don't, they didn't really like me anyways, so... Whoops! Yeah, let's get out. <laughs> Anything else you want to add? No, I think this is a good place to wrap up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like this was this was really fun. Thank you, Avi. <laughs> oh, thank you. This was a uh, thank you, Mira. This 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 FPS was wonderful, and I loved it. Uh, it was uh, very much me by the. Sp- the seat of my pants doing a lot of improv. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, that's how it be in D&D sometimes. True. Especially sometimes when you're a DM who realizes the morning of said FPS, oh, peck, I forgot to do a lot more prep. Whoops. <laughs> it feel like that sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I would have I would have been a little bit more prepared if my iPad had actually been charging, but oh well. <laughs> yep. All right. Uh, anyways, thank you everyone for listening to this fun, funky FPS about two real kind stealing things on the dream plane. We bid you a good time zone. Goodbye. Bye.